Hello everyone and welcome to Insider Financial Talk Stocks. My name is Alex Carlson. I will be your host today. I'm the Editor-in-Chief of InsiderFinancial.com and in this video we will recap the stocks we covered in our weekend video and cover four penny stocks with momentum for tomorrow. But first up, we released a report on a low floater for the before the bell today. The stock closed up 22% and is trading almost 5% higher in the after hours. Congrats to all subscribers banking. Also, Friday's NASDAQ penny stock was up 17% today from Friday's open. We are hot right now and we will continue to look for winners for our subscribers. If you want our free reports, click that link in the description or go to signup.insiderfinancial.com or sign up on any of the pop-ups on insiderfinancial.com. After you sign up with your email, you can then sign up with your mobile number. Mobile is the fastest way to get all of our reports and it works for all numbers worldwide. Simply enter your country code first, followed by your number. For US and Canada, be one plus area code and number. Never begin the format with zero, it will not work. And after you sign up, you will get a e welcome email which includes a free copy of the Insider Financial Guide to Penny Stocks ebook. Our ebook, our email service, and our text messaging services are all free services from insiderfinancial.com. We do not run any paid subscription service whatsoever, no Discord rooms or Telegram chat rooms whatsoever. Whatsoever. With that out of the way, let's dive in here, folks. Well, stocks hovered near the unchanged mark uh, for most of the session today. Uh, investors are looking for looking forward to the potential catalyst this week, including Fed Powell's testi testimony before Congress uh, tomorrow at 10 a.m. and also on Wednesday at 10 a.m. Uh, the Nasdaq closed down. Uh, 0.1%, the S&P 500 finished up 0.1%, and the Dow ended up 0.1%. Uh, the big news was Goldman Sachs initiated buy rating on Apple this morning. That helped lift uh, mega cap tech stocks, perhaps at the expense of small caps. Small caps were uh, basically a mixed bag today. Uh, and the, at the end of the week, we're going to get the uh, uh, February uh, February unemployment report uh, that's coming on Friday. The stats will provide a glimpse at the health of the economy and the state of the overall labor market. Signs of cooling on the employment front would give Wall Street a boost as it would point to moderating inflation pr pressures in the face of the Fed's uh, interest rate hikes. Um, Tomorrow's Fed uh, testimony from Federal Reserve Chairman Powell, everyone's going to be looking into what his uh, take is on uh, uh, interest rates. Right now, the market is pricing in higher for longer interest rates. Uh, the Fed Fund's futures market has moved up a full percentage point in recent weeks following a handful of hot inflation prints. Uh, treasury yields today were muted. Ten-year uh, Treasury yield rose nearly two basis points to just under 4%, and the two-year uh, yield climbed about three basis points to 4.89%. Uh, ABML up 15%, breaking out. Uh, big news last week. Uh, the company announced results of its third, per third party qualified person audited inferred research report that details the analysis of its lithium de deposit at its Tonopah Flats lithium project in Big Smoky Valley, Nevada, which has resulted in the identification of the w one of the largest known lithium deposits in the United States. ABML controls 100% of the mining load claims, comprising the Tonopah flats property and the rights to to all locatable subsurfaces minerals without any royalties. Uh, ABML is now up uh, 84% since I talked about it last week. Uh, you can go to insiderfinancial.com and all the articles uh, list the, the tickers uh, that we cover in our videos. So you can go and check that out on insiderfinancial.com. But ABML is now up 84% since last week. Congrats to all who are banking. Like I said, if this one was on the NASDAQ or NYSE, it would already be $5. The OTC is just a broken market right now. For the uh, eight short squeeze plays that I talked about in the weekend video, I'm expecting the, the momentum to continue in these names. Uh, the following were discussed in, in uh, the weekend video. First up is AI uh, closed down uh, 3.93%, basically just ran into that $30 wall. Uh, you can look on Finviz. I used uh, Finviz for looking at it 
uh, trend lines they're already drawn for you. you can go and check them out and you can see all this resisting you got a lot of trend line resistance right here we really need to make a clean break uh, above 32 for uh, the momentum to continue in AI and this one's just been up uh, a lot this year uh, year to date it's up 144 percent so you're gonna get some profit taking in AI but you know you got almost 25 percent of the float is short so again uh, you know this has a short squeeze written all over it uh, SOUN 9% uh, of the float is short uh, BBAI 17% of the float is short GNS uh, almost 20% of the float is short <clears throat> they just announced a new uh, legal hire uh, they appointed Mark R. Basil toxic debt special toxic debt specialist as special counsel to join its legal team so again uh, they continue the war the naked short war uh, hopefully uh, they can keep the momentum going win this uh, lawsuit and get the stock uh, running again uh, major resistance is at eight dollars uh, trading here at 380 let's see how it uh, it trades today but again the stock backed off today's highs got as high as 477 closed at 380 uh, a little bit bearish here uh, next up two OTC plays uh, short squeeze plays uh, GTII uh, boy when I talk about whenever I tag GTII uh, the GTII army just comes out in force and uh, it really is uh, uh, quite a community on Fintwit they are really really active uh, trying to get the GTII uh, uh, short squeeze going here uh, CRTD is another one uh, nice action here looks to have bottomed uh, minimal volume today so again uh, really need that volume to uh, to get that short squeeze happening uh, FNGR uh, mixed day again I said look to have bottomed here just off the one dollar so let's see how it it trades for the rest of the weekend ASAN uh, watch this one I got earnings this week 17 percent of the float is short Facebook uh, co-founder has been buying stock like crazy uh, last year I think he bought almost one billion dollars in, in insider buy you see here on September 7th there was a uh, almost 19.2 million share buy uh, uh, at 18.16 which is just above today's uh, current prices that was a 350 million dollar buy I would not be betting against ASAN uh, so again uh, let's see how earnings come in this week uh, just over 17% of the float is short uh, again I think the shorts are messing with the wrong guy I mean Dustin Moskovitz uh, he's worth like eight nine billion dollars uh, Facebook co-founder uh, Asana is his baby he's uh, uh, not gonna let it uh, the shorts win this one he's got deeper pockets than the shorts so uh, again uh, ASAN uh, keep your eye on this one uh, moving on guys uh, four names that we uh, continue to like and really like for this week uh, first up is TRKA 40% uh, of the float is short up 89% in the past week uh, you can go to insiderfinancial.com and you can see I've been talking about this TRKA here TRKA uh, TRKA uh, just like every every day uh, last week was talking about TRKA uh, again just an impressive day today up 48% uh, you know I, I said uh, you, and you can go and listen to what I've had to say uh, TRKA that I said this is what your, your your key here was Peter Coates he's just been buying left and right here this is couch cushion money for him he's like Dustin Moskovitz multi-billionaire uh, out of the UK UK he owns Stoke City Football Club uh, his family owns bet 365 which is one of the largest uh, UK online gambling companies uh, again this is just peanuts for him and uh, the shorts they you know when when they try to go up against these billionaires they got deeper pockets you're you're, you're they're fighting the, the the wrong battle but again uh, I love seeing the shorts lose money uh, love seeing them get squeezed and this is just a beautiful thing here happening in TRKA I couldn't be happier for all those banking in TRKA 
Uh, next up is NVOS. Uh, this is a new play that the TRKA folks have moved over to. 25% of the float is short. Uh, expecting some, uh, uh, a lot of these guys from TRKA, they are now in NVOS. Uh, it's just getting tagged left and right here uh, on TRKA. So again, you know, right now, uh, FinTwit, stock twits, you know, social media, uh, this is what's uh, driving these short squeeze plays. So, you know, again, we monitor all this stuff here at insiderfinancial.com. So again, you know, sign up and uh, you can get all of our reports and, and let you know what the, some of these uh, plays uh, that have major, major short squeeze potential uh, and also low floats, like you said, we had for today. So again, uh, we're hot right now. So again, click that link in the description uh, to get our next reports. Uh, next up is ADIL News After Hours, just a $12 million market cap. Uh, the company uh, announced uh, uh, news on their um, AD04. This is the company's lead compound for the treatment of alcohol use uh, disorder. Uh, the company is to pursue path towards U.S. and European approvals. Type C meeting with the FDA confirmed for the second quarter of this year. Plans in place to meet with multiple European regulatory authorities. The company is also in discussions with potential pharma partners. There will be a conference call tomorrow at 8.15 a.m. Eastern. We will be on that call listening for our subscribers. So if there's a major update, uh, we will update uh, uh, you guys uh, accordingly. Lastly, guys, is Weight Watchers. Uh, hard to believe this is now a penny stock. Uh, trading closed today at 387. Uh, Oprah is a major shareholder. 12% uh, of the float is short. But the news is the company is moving into the Ozempic market with a telehealth uh, deal. Uh, they are buy buying Sequence. Uh, this is a digital health platform for clinical weight ma weight management. For those of you that don't know, Ozempic is the new fad uh, Hollywood weight loss uh, uh, drug. It's a diabetes drug. You just inject it, or I, I think it's injection, or you can take a pill. Uh, but again, this is what all the Hollywood types are on now to lose weight. So again, Weight Watchers, this is a uh, smart move by, uh, by Weight Watchers uh, to get into this space. So certainly, I'll be watching this one for uh, short squeeze potential uh, this week. But with that being said, guys, uh, don't forget to sign up for our reports. Guys, it's completely free, and you can see the level of research that we do here at insiderfinancial.com. Uh, our videos, we just try to give you the overview, but in depth, uh, we put out full reports. Uh, we send it out to your email, and also if you sign up for mobile, mobile is the fastest way to get all of our reports, and you can click on the link and see our, our the level of research that we do here at insiderfinancial.com. Finally, Insider Financial and myself are not investment advisors. This video does not provide investment advice. Always do your research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is not a solicitation or recommendation by seller hold securities. This video is our opinion, is meant for informational and educational purposes only, and does not provide investment advice. Thanks for watching. Also, smash that like button and hit the notification bell to be notified when a new video is uploaded. Good luck, guys. Bye bye.